And this is an eye bolt for wood. There's the eye bolt. There's the wooden block. Zero, zero coordinate of our XY line is right there. And now there's our X and Y line. There are forces F1 and F2. Theta is 25, V is 40 degrees. F1 is 5 kilonewtons, force 2 is 10 kilonewtons. What will be the magnitude of the resultant on the eye bolt? First, I had these two forces, F1 and F2. But a bing, up goes F2. Now I add the differences. 25 and 40 is 65. Now I slide F1 over and I make parallelogram. Draw my resultant. And I am interested in, in this now. It's my sketch, 5 kilonewtons, 10 kilonewtons. Between them both, 65 degrees. I'm interested in the force, the force of the resultant. I write down 5 squared plus 10 squared minus 2 times 5 times 10 times cosine 65 degrees. Take the square root of this, and what do I get? Well, 5 squared is 25, 10 squared is 100. That's 25 plus 100. That's 125. Next, I get negative 2 times 5 times 10. That's negative 2 times 50. That's negative 100. And there we go. Now, 125 minus 100 is 25. Multiply that times cosine 65. What's cosine 65? That's what it is. 0.4226.1826. And I write that down. Now I get 25 times 0.4226. And that gives me 10.56545654, yada, yada, yada. I'm going to take the square root of that. And I get 3.250 kilonewtons. And that is the resultant force. That's it for now. This is Hoboken Garrett. Bye-bye.